The mythical Greek god Atlas was said to have angered King Zeus and as a punishment was forced to hold up the weight of the heavens on his shoulders for all eternity. Yet many of the images depicting that showed Atlas holding the weight of the world on his shoulders, just the way I did right now. But uh, the reason I did that is because I don't have the weight of the heavens to show you. But what I do have to show you is the brand new 2018 VW Atlas. Let's take a look. I think you'll enjoy what you see. The brand new VW Atlas is the largest VW produced. It is a three row, six or seven passenger SUV available in front wheel drive or VW's four motion all wheel drive. With the two liter four cylinder engine, you have the S model, the SE, the SE with tech and the SEL. But if you step up to the 3.6 liter V6, which I think most people will, especially with a vehicle of this size, you have the, first of all, the launch edition, limited edition for the first year. You also have the S, the SE, the SE with tech, the SEL, and the SEL premium, like we're looking at here. Now you have a choice of two different engines. There's a 2.0 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine that'll generate 235 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. But as we're looking at here, we have a 3.6 liter narrow V6 engine that's going to generate 276 horsepower, 266 pound feet of torque. It has a tremendous amount of get up and go. But the 2.0 liter is only available in the front wheel drive. If you want the all wheel drive, you have to go with the 3.6. Now the Atlas is built using their MQB modular chassis system. So it's shared with other VWs as well as some Audis. You have adjustable suspension, independent suspension across the board and you can adjust it depending on the drive mode conditions. Plus you have eight inches of ground clearance, which if you do decide to go a little off-roading will definitely come in handy. And you have a very handsome and bold exterior European styling. And with the rear of the vehicle, you'll notice you have these faux exhaust outlets where the exhaust is hidden. And with properly equipped trailering, the front wheel drive vehicle will pull up to 2,000 pounds and the all wheel drive up to 5,000 pounds. Now, if you want to open this power tailgate, as you look in the back, you can see we have an ample amount of cargo space behind the third row. And when you fold that down, it just gets bigger and better than ever before. You fold all the seats down, you've got a lot of useful space. Now, one of the main attractions of our Atlas is the third row access, where people can actually sit back, relax, and enjoy themselves. Now, of course, you can get a bench seat, which makes this next move a little impossible, but with the captain's chairs, it's not. And what's nice is your chairs will recline and as well as glide back and forth. So it gives you a very nice, comfortable interior space to enjoy. Plus you have your ventilation back here that you can control, your AC, you have your USB connectivity, of course, you have to have that. And this beautiful panoramic moonroof really gives it an open, spacious feel. And that's one of the things you can really appreciate about the Atlas. It's just such a warm and welcoming machine. Now, a number of people have described the Atlas as being big and boxy. 
And from an exterior point of view, well, that may either suit your tastes or not. But from the inside, big and boxy rocks, you have so much interior space. VW's kept this minimalist styling on the inside. Plus, you have everything laid out in a very horizontal fashion, easy to get to, easy to reach. Huge center console down here. We got lots of stuff in here. And that's not even, that's only half of it, man. We can fit a lot more in there. You could fit a tablet in there, maybe. You could fit uh, a tablet up here, maybe. Ah, you can fit a lot of stuff in here, as well as people and cargo. You have a tremendous commanding view of the road. There's so much greenhouse glass around you. Excellent, excellent visibility, plus your uh, dual sport mirrors and the frameless rear view mirror. I have to mention that. What a clean rear view mirror that is. Thank you, VW. We appreciate it. Beautiful indoor outdoor feel. Oh, sorry, a little bumpy there. You do have this independent suspension, of course, with the multi link in the rear, and it does absorb a tremendous amount of vibration and impact as you drive. So it's a very comfortable ride. Depending on your you know, drive mode, because if you have it in sport, it's going to be a little rougher and tougher. I know this sounds a little bit of pompousness and what have you, but I love looking down on people. You get a chance to see them texting, 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 texting. Don't text and drive. Texting, 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 text. You get the idea. And that was a public service announcement from Rosenthal Automotive. It's amazingly quiet on the inside too. There's a tremendous amount of insulation, sound insulation inside. It really gives you a nice acoustic environment. With the base model, you have a six speaker stereo system. You also can bump that up to the eight speaker when you go to the SE and above. But when you get to the top of the line, SEL premium like we're in, we have the Fender premium audio sound system with 12 speakers, including a subwoofer and megawatts of power. You have tilt and telescopic steering, so you can adjust your seating as well with the adjustable power seats, driver as well as passenger. And of course, you can make sure you sit at least 12 inches back from the airbags. And you wanna make sure you do that because if you're sitting too close, hugging the wheel, it's not a safe place to be. You have a leather wrapped steering wheel here in the premium edition, and it's flat bottom here, three spoke. You have your typical adaptive cruise control controls right here. You have your Bluetooth connectivity over here, hands-free, answering calls, making calls. And of course you do have, with the premium system, the available 12.3 inch virtual, it's not, well, it's not the virtual cockpit, it's the digital cockpit. The same basic concept is on the Audi Q7 and now the Q5 as well but you can have this amazing digital feedback and you can adjust the different uh, types of views that you can have. Yeah, and I shouldn't do that while we're driving, so I promised myself I wouldn't, I'll do it later. With the base model, you have the 6.5 inch screen here, but when you step up trim levels, then you're gonna go to the eight inch screen. And it is nicely laid out. You have your car feedback, it's nicely integrated as well. You can take the Navi feedback from the mapping and throw it right on your digital cockpit right here. And that's a nice convenience. I love the expansive moonroof as well so that you have the you know fixed glass in the back and of course the vented top here as well as the retractable top. And it just gives it that, uh, that open ambiance. Acceleration. It's enough to scare him. <laughs> okay. Changing lanes here. Nobody's there because my blind spot detection is working just fine. Now, speaking of safety, obviously you have airbags all over the place, the usual. You have your electronic brake force distribution, anti-lock braking system. You also have, with the tech package, you have your lane keep assist, uh, your blind spot detection. It'll actually help keep you centered in the roads, guiding you back in as well. You have forward collision mitigation with autonomous braking. You have pedestrian detection. You have your cross traffic detection. You have your park assist for the front as well as the rear. You have your backup camera as well as the available 360 camera 
camera and all of that is designed just to let you enjoy the ride without worrying about the safety of your passengers and you. You also have the ambient lighting on the interior of the vehicle which is always a nice touch. You even have in the uh, top trim levels puddle lights that uh, can illuminate your vehicle as you get into the vehicle at night. La la la. Oh, air conditioning. I'm sorry, I'm just having a, a brain drain here. Air conditioning, you have tri-zone air conditioning, individual synced air conditioning for the front. The, and there are vents all the way back, which is good. Now, you have uh, the base cloth in the base vehicle. You also can step up to a faux leather interior. And then when you get to the top of the line premium like we are right now, you have the actual Vienna leather seating surfaces. And it is perforated, ventilated, heated. It's awesome. Goes great with the heated steering wheel. And the second row seats, they are also heated. The third row seats, maybe next year. Sorry, guys. Also, before I forget, you have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay available. There, I said it. Ha ha. Actually, I just see this light's going to change. There's going to be a ton of traffic, and I'm just trying to avoid as much of it as possible. But this does have a very nice turning radius. I was driving it on the back roads earlier on, and it did an amazing job. Now watch. Hold on, everybody. Here we go. Whammo. Boom. Everything's sliding around. There's so much. Oh, yeah, there's also storage areas. I forgot. In the side of the doors, you can hold your big bottle of water, which I always carry with me. You also have your center cup holders and cup holders in the back. Because this is a six or seven seater, you obviously have the choice of the bench seat or the captain's chairs back there. And the third row seat has the 50-50 split. So, you know, all of that works to your advantage to keep this to be a, a very uh, useful, uh, versatile vehicle as well. So you're really getting more than just a passenger carrier. You're getting the cargo carrier. You're getting the all-wheel drive availability. I mean, if you want to go front-wheel drive, go for it. But I, the four-motion all-wheel drive, it's awesome. Especially when you have your adjustments for your snow settings, your you know regular drive pavement like we are right now. You can also do the off-road capability as well as a customizable setting. And even in the normal mode, you have adjustable settings for it as well. You can uh, pick the eco mode, uh, maximum fuel efficiency, the normal mode, sport mode, and another customizable uh, setting. So, oh, I just hit it. Oh, sorry, that's the button right there. We're in normal right now. See, it's gone. <laughs> and this thing has this park assist feature so that whether you're parallel parking or you're just horizontal parking, it'll help you get in as well as get out. And the more you use it, the more you dig it. I do. That V6 power does make a difference. It really does. The VW Atlas has been a long awaited and much anticipated and greatly appreciated addition to the VW lineup. From its size, from its cargo carrying capacity, passenger carrying capacity, the different trim levels that you can personalize and choose from, even the limited edition first year model. I mean, come on. You, you can have any sort of configuration based on your budget or price range you want. So why not have it all? Go find the right Atlas for yourself. And try not to carry the weight of the heavens on your shoulders. How <laughs> you like that? As a mythological atlas sort of reference. Carrying the weight of the heavens. Try not to do that. Sorry.